I don't blame Burger King one bit for doing this tax inversion scheme. I don't blame any company for doing it because we have the highest tax corporate tax rate in the entire world. Mind-bogglingly, Europe has lower tax rates than us. Yeah, it's sad. Canada <laughs> has lower tax rates than us. Companies save billions of dollars by inverting, and it has no practical effect on their operation in this company in this country. So, mm. uh, why would they not do it? Why should they not do it? Why Why should our tax code be the highest in the world, and then our government expect companies to just go along to get along? Like it's just absurd. It's Steve, absurd. are you, are you going to tweet that to every member of Congress and hope that it changes the world? Yes. That's how change happens, Rachel, through uh, Twitter. Through YouTube videos on video mm -hmm. games. Through sure. gaming videos. That's the real key. Gaming vids. Hey guys, Steve Gutowski here, back with another episode of Games and Guns. I'm back with my lovely girlfriend slash blogger woman, Rachel Hirado from uh, BananaRepublican.co. Dot UK. Not dot UK. No. 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 Oh. Dot co. But the. You forgot UK. That's how. If it's dot co, then dot UK at the end of that. That's how those ones work. British internet. Domination. The Queen's internet! We're gonna play a little bright. bit of domination. Why is it so bright? Well, it's because you're in here and you're. You're lighting it up with your love. Oh, oh it's weird. This Swing! Security it's like a New Orleans. Oh, I died. It's like a New Orleans bat. But we're gonna play. Oh, where am I going? We're gonna going play Domination on just new on this map. Ah. This, this is the second where map pack, I think. Oh, there's another guy. This is Rachel's favorite game play. I've I was been... down for like two seconds. I am on top and Rachel's on the bottom. She's Joker. the power bottom in the game. Oh, old. I am gonna make that joke every time I play. Well, luckily, funny, you don't have repeat joke. visitors, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, true. Wow, it's really, the brightness is way off. Yeah, what is up with that? Why is it doing this? Talk a little bit about the exciting topic of tax inversions. Rachel, complicated schemes by multinational corporations to avoid being taxed at absurd levels in the United States. Yeah. Did you hear about the latest tax inversion? Oh yeah, Burger King. Burger King! I have now, to say officially Burger Queen because they're moving to Canada. No, no, and no. Canada no. has has a queen. Oh, okay. Yeah. By that, by that. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. Enemy yeah. Uh, you make yeah. a point. I believe part of the you know in Canada, <laughs> Canada they have um. Canada. Oh dang. They've got Dude. the queen. They got the queen on their monies. Money. Monies. Their fake monopoly money that they have. <laughs> the, the money they got. The, is more valuable than ours. Yeah. That's, Coming. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was just, someone took off this that happened. Anyway. Um, Racist. I think part of the deal. Racist. Yeah, Maybe. Uh, oh, I hope Part of this Burger King deal, to get to this really short joke after a really long setup, part of this deal is that now the Burger King will be on the oh. Canadian dollar. Um. I don't get it because it's oh. too long. But, um, so they have a queen. The queen yeah, is on their money now, but yeah, but now the that's Burger King is going to be. That would have been good. It's a good joke. So. You ruined it with your something. Basically, this what it boils down to uh, is Burger King finds our tax, our corporate tax rate to be uh, ridiculously high compared to the rest of the world, even Canada of all places. Um, and so they've decided to actually they've decided to buy Tim Hortons. I love Tim Hortons. So that's that's how the deal works. They buy Tim Hortons and then they move their headquarters of the new um, Tim Hortons Burger King merge, you know, company, and they move that headquarters to Canada. 
thereby being taxed at the Canadian corporate rate instead of the American corporate rate, which is much higher. Mm -hmm. And saving a lot of money along the way. Some yeah. some of these multinational corporations that have done this have saved tens of billions of dollars yeah. by doing so. And it's just oh. like, there's no... Other than, I don't know, I guess if you're really stupid or you uh, hate your shareholders, I don't see any reason why any company wouldn't do this at this point, given that the United States has literally the highest um, corporate, tax rate, corporate tax rate in the entire world. Obviously, this doesn't mean that all the, Can all the Burger Kings are packing up and moving to Canada. Um, nothing really changes on the ground for these companies. As far as like practical aspect, you're, it's not like only Canadians will be employed at Burger King from now on. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that, although that might be pleasant. Well, I think we have a uh, comparative advantage right. because of our natural tendency for obesity in America, so, mm -hmm. you know, just, uh, you know. Well, I feel like if we had, if Burger Kings became stocked with just Canadian employees, that would probably improve their efficiency and, <laughs> and politeness. Because oh, yes. Burger Kings are terrible. You know the uh, last time you've been to a Burger King? They're so bad. You know what? No. Every time depends, I go to a depends. Burger King. Well, granted, I mean, you and I are in Northern Virginia, so everything is terrible here. And uh, service is terrible. But this and people is are true. terrible. So. For me, it's been true across the board of every Burger King I've ever been to. Just terrible service. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, they don't even get your, Most of the time, I, their order, they get your order wrong. Uh, they take forever. They, for some reason, they see, they seem like gross and dirty most of the time too. Enemy Even for like a fast food worker, it's interesting because oh. I had the exact opposite experience at Chick Fil A. Oh yeah, absolutely. Chick Fil A, I've never had a bad experience at, at, at any Chick Fil A yeah, anymore, God, yeah. in the entire country, and I've never had a good experience at any Burger King. Oh okay. So, but that's not really the point. The point is, um, Burger King's doing this to so that they can pay fewer taxes and save their shareholders millions if not billions of dollars. Uh, it really doesn't, wouldn't make any sense not to do this. That's what it's come to. It's not like Burger King is the only one doing it. I think the largest medical country, uh, company in the country just did the exact same thing with a yeah. European med uh, medical company. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's been going on for years now. And there's just no... I don't know. Yeah, there's no will in Washington to lower taxes, like they're because it's Washington. And so instead, the solution that Obama and Biden and, and other liberals have come up with is just to say, is just to like try to shame these companies. Yeah. Like, you're not patriotic enough because you're not. You don't want to pay all these taxes. Just I know. And then if you're like one of the largest privately America. held companies in America, you're and your evil corporate brothers, and you also hate America. So yeah. it's kind of like. But so now, now paying taxes is our patriotic duty in the US, even if you're just a faceless corporation. Um, well, apparently that's the case. Um, but that's their plan for this. It's not. That's like not. A they haven't acknowledged at all that our plan. that our tax rate is, is the highest in the world, and perhaps that's a problem. It's just no, these companies are unpatriotic, mm -hmm. and that's why they're doing this. Yeah. Well. I, mean, I think the whole the corporate tax rate should be. Zero percent, in my opinion. Like, I don't think a corporate tax makes any sense at all. Because a corporation isn't isn't a thing. It's not a it's not a being. A corporation is a collection of people. Mm -hmm. And so when you tax the corporation, what you're really doing is just taxing those people. The Burger King isn't. It's not a real king. He's not an actual person. As, as much as the commercials might mislead you to think so. I know that this is shocking. This is treason. People. This is treason, Stephen. I know that that's Be a quiet. Shocking I didn't relation. hear that. I didn't hear that. But the I'm have to report you. The reality is that I don't uh, know him. The reality is that the ah, I sorry. <laughs> I just, I just want to. Look at you. By the way, I prefer Paris to that. Only thing I know, Tim Hortons from. Is hockey. I've never been to a Tim Hortons. Oh, Tim Hortons is awesome. We should go next time. We, they have one at Wells Fargo. Some, yeah, they have some in America. Apparently. The coffee is better. Mm. Oh, 
I mean, it's kind of like a Canadian law. I am horribly offended. You don't even drink coffee. You I don't know. like coffee. But. But. Um, it is like Canadian Wawa, which yeah. is, I mean, I feel like that should translate. Canadian, for you, I thought it was so. more like Canadian McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess so. So it's, don't yeah, it's Wawa, like that. But it's insulting to Wawa. No, 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 but like, I mean, just like in terms of like the cultural place that it holds and should hold. It's mm. kind of like that, so. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for me, the tax, the corporate tax rate should be zero because you're already taxing both the shareholders and the employees of the corporation. No. So having a corporate tax rate on top of that is just ridiculous to me. Like, well, why are we having all, like, it's just, this is how liberals want to tax everything. They just yeah, want to have layers on layers on layers of taxes. You're getting taxed five times for one transaction. It's just yeah. absurd. I mean, they would, consider Burger King. Um, how many taxes are involved in uh, let's let's start the cash register right someone pays first tax sales tax so there's already a sales tax on that each dollar that's brought in and then that goes um, back to the corporation where it's taxed again for the, for the corporate tax on the corporation and then it's given out to um First to the employees, and the, um, and then it's taxed again as an income tax there, and then the rest is given out to Domination. whatever's left over as profit is given to shareholders, and that's taxed again uh, with the uh, capital gains tax. So, I mean, you've already got. Uh, I'm sure I've missed several taxes along the way. The paper crumb tax. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you see, the point is like if we're taxing this one dollar from. Uh, that was spent on a Whopper, we're taking it and taxing it like five times before it gets to the people that it's actually owed to. It's, it's an insane system. Oh, where is this guy? Oh, man. Where did this guy go? Oh, man, I, we're going to get... Oh, <laughs> Oh, my God. And he just ran off. Oh, no, I'm oh, dead. Oh, man. Oh, that's the slowest little turtle. This whole thing. <laughs> For me, you know, there shouldn't even be a corporate tax um, at all. And uh, if we're going to have a corporate tax, it should not be the highest in the entire world because it leads to things like this, where, where you basically are running companies out of the country. You know, there's so many companies now that it started as American-based corporations and now they've ended up uh, creating deals for tax, really, pretty much purely for tax inversion purposes. So would Burger King have bought Tim Hortons otherwise? Probably not. Uh, maybe, but probably not. Um, it's creating these perverse um, incentives to just do things that businesses wouldn't otherwise do that, and, and <laughs> that drive them out of the country. Is that really what we want to be doing? Does it really make any sense? I mean, you could say on the one, you know, you could say maybe, um, oh, well, Burger King is just super greedy. Uh, and you could say that if, if Burger King is the only one doing it, but they're far from the only ones doing it. But pretty much everyone is doing it now. I wouldn't be surprised if McDonald's end up to, ends up doing this. Oh, God, I hope not. And Wendy's as well. So, I mean, it's just, it, it kills jobs here because the, the these corporate offices... I mean, it's not, you know, like I said, the Burger Kings aren't moving out of the country, but their corporate headquarters are. Uh, and maybe that's, I mean, for the most part, that's a symbolic thing, but it does cost some jobs. Um, certainly, some, some uh, jobs that would otherwise be taxed at a very high rate here, because they're likely um, high-level management jobs that, that see um, high-level tax rates, income tax rates. Yeah. So, uh, in that sense, you're also living, losing out on those, uh, on that tax revenue. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's insane. And the, the left won't, the left won't admit it's a problem, and they try to blame the companies themselves, instead of trying to fix what's causing them to leave. Yeah, well. You know, like I said, if it was one company, if it was just Burger King, maybe that would have... Maybe they'd have some sort of, like, viable argument on that front, but it's not just Burger King, it's everybody. Well, Steve, we should obviously make a law that prohibits people from leaving the country. Right, the next thing is, the next the next step probably will be, 
from the left, the next argument is going to be, well, we need to, I guess, um, I guess keep foreign companies from doing business in America. That would be brilliant. Because that's how you would stop a tax inversion scheme, is prevent foreign corporations from doing business at all in the U.S. Yeah. That's all you can do. I mean, there's so much... <clears throat> There's so many of these kinds of tricks that every, you know, from Apple to Burger King to medical supply companies, just everyone is doing it. Apple Apple has more money, I believe they have more money overseas because of um, the problems with our tax code than they have here in, in their uh, corporate accounts in the U.S. Mm, I wouldn't be surprised. And, and it's, you know, so there's, there's billions and billions of dollars just stranded overseas and these companies would rather um, from everything I've read they'd rather have that money here but the reality is that it would cost them billions of dollars to, to bring it back and so they don't mm -hmm. and uh, I, I don't know so, to me that's a huge problem and if it's an industry-wide thing then that tells you that the policies affecting that industry are the are what's what's causing the mess not not just generic uh, reader one you know one company's um, mismanagement or whatever like that's not the problem it's sy it's system wide it's a problem with the tax code yeah well. and frankly the DC isn't willing to change it I mean I think uh, one, you know one side of the aisle might be willing to, you know Republicans are probably willing to change to change the tax code um, not that they're, not that that's a given always. Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely not. But um, like certainly, Democrats or at least more liberal Democrats are are never going to be willing to, to lower the corporate tax rate or fix fix this problem. I mean, the the, the most I've heard, um, you know, liberal policymakers be open to is is a tax holiday. Which doesn't fix the problem. <laughs> it's like okay, you can bring you can bring all this money up sitting overseas home. We won't we won't tax it at ridiculous rates for like a week, and then and then it's back to <laughs> back to the old policy that made you put it there in the first place. Like, uh, how does that make any sense? It's so stupid. I mean, I'd be for it if that's the only thing that we could, that could work out in the short term, but it's not. It's not a fix. It's just not. I haven't seen anyone on the left, um, from Obama on down, admitting that the tax rate needs to be lowered because it's the highest in the entire world. In fact, most of the, most people on the left want it raised even more, um, because I guess they hate having any company based in America, <laughs> right? I mean, I don't know what else, to, what other conclusion to draw from that. Uh, we've got the highest in the world. Companies are literally... Oh, dog. Kill me. Companies are literally fleeing the country to avoid the highest tax rate in the world. And you want to... What's your solution? To raise it even more? Are you insane? Are you literally a crazy person? But, um... For me... Uh, die. Get B. Get B, people. B is the key. Oh, B is Jesus the key. Uh, but yeah, basically, when it's all said and done, eat Taco Bell breakfast. Uh, I think that was the point of this whole episode, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what we talked about? And get out of paying taxes. Oh, okay. yeah. Corporate taxes are get stupid idea at That's all. That's what they're for. I don't blame at taxes. all. I don't blame at all Taco uh, not Not Taco Bell. Taco Bell recently... They're probably going to invert to Mexico. The lower taxes there. Mexican food. Uh, it's a good joke. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in this week. Um, we'll be back again next week. Um, hopefully soon I'll have some news on uh, my employment situation and the future of this show, this here show. And it'll be good news. We'll It'll see. be interesting. It'll be cool. The show will become interesting. No. That's the opposite of what's going to happen. The show will never be interesting. I promise you that. Yeah. <clears throat>
But I but threw his hat you, across the room, so it was yeah, worth it. That was, that's interesting. Action. It's an action show now. Yep. Anyway, we've rambled enough. <clears throat> See you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, make sure you... Um, I have a, a list of things that I now require you to do now that you've watched the show. Uh, subscribe, for one. Uh, Where's the button? Should people do the... I don't know. It's somewhere on your screen. Uh, you might be watching this as an embed, so it wouldn't be anywhere on your screen. Then you have to click through, and uh, it's very complicated. But do it anyway. Uh, subscribe. There's a little red button somewhere here that says subscribe. He'll put it on his face. You <laughs> put like an overlay on your face. No, that's way subscribe. too much work. Just find it. Find it yourself. Don't be lazy. Two, um, share the video with everyone that you know. Who you hate. Even, yeah, even the people you hate. Especially <laughs> those people. Yeah. Especially them. Uh, three, like it. There's a little button that says like it's as well. It's shaped like this. It's no wrong one. Oh. Up. Up. Two, like it twice. Was it Chicago? You can like things twice now? Yes. Like, like everything Dead twice. Dead people can like things. Um, and then uh, uh, leave a comment. Talk, give us feedback. Let us know what you'd like to see. Um, what games you want to see it, see played on the show. What guests you'd like to see. What topics you want us to talk about. Um, just everything. And while you're here, also, for, fourth thing, I lost count. Um, go check out Couples Gaming, because that's the two of us just playing video games. Without the politics stuff, just playing through. We've got Valiant Hearts. Um, it's a new romance current... novel. It's a <laughs> it's body a... ripping page turner. It's yeah. a it's a World War One video game. It's really cool. Hundredth anniversary of World War One. So um, go watch that. It's a really good game, and uh, we play it together. Well, he plays it. Well, I play it, and she watches, and yeah. makes sometimes fall asleep. Snide comments. Yeah. About how bad I am at the show so it's fun <laughs> you'll enjoy it but um uh, so go check that out check out all go literally go through and watch every single video on the channel at once um that will help boost boost our youtube stats so do that too um and that i guess that's all I, you got anything else to make them do uh so you did just oh, share on twitter go go to um share on anything banana republic Ooh, they should like your Facebook page. Do you talk about that? Yeah, face, there's a Facebook yeah. page like that. Yeah. Uh, BananaRepublican.co. She's going to write stuff soon. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> People have said that they enjoy the site, so you need to update it. Was it your mom? Or like no, my mom? it was a random person on the internet. Oh, so it must be in like 10 people. 10, 100 people. Yes. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we'll be back again next week. We'll stop talking now. And, and